Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, we are doing Retro Cover Rewind. Part four of our Spider-Woman series of series one of her comic book. So one of my favorite runs. I just love it. I know it's completely up and down. Uh, doesn't matter. It's uh, one of my favorites. It always will be. Now, again, this series is all about celebrating the comic cover art that pulled us into these comics. Uh, whether you were a kid, a teenager, already an adult, but you saw this cover and you had to see what was going on inside. And I just like celebrating um, these covers. Uh, I'm a reader first, but the covers are undeniably an attraction that bring you into the comic. You, a lot of times you don't discover these great stories without a fantastic piece of art on the outside drawing you in to at least give the story a chance, right? So that's what we do on this one. We celebrate the comic artists that did these covers the, and the inkers, the letter, whatever, the whole thing. But first up, we have issue 31 of Spider-Woman. And this is a Frank Miller and Al Milgram cover. So you can see really nice. Frank Miller all over the place in those days for Marvel and DC, doing a ton of work. Just He was just super busy, contributing a lot. So really great uh, cover there. Next up is a really famous cover from this run. This is issue number 32. And this is, again, Frank Miller. And because it's got the Universal Monsters on it, this cover has always been well sought after. Uh, we have inks by Klaus Janssen on this, and it's just a classic. You can't go wrong with this cover. Gorgeous. Next up, we have issue 33, and this is the 15 pence variant. All right, so a lot of fun there, and this is a Dave Cockrum cover, and beautiful work. Again, another journeyman in comics, Dave Cockrum, who just did so much excellent work, so much he put out, and just a high-quality standard from him all the time, and this is no exception. Absolutely beautiful cover. Next, we have issue number 34, and then we're getting into my favorite classic Spider-Woman artist, and uh, it's Steve Lealoha. Now, this guy was just my favorite artist on this run. Absolutely love Steve Lealoha's work. I think it's beautiful. I think he's one of those artists that doesn't get enough credit, but gorgeous cover. Love it. I mean, everything you want, right? Action, fire, villains in the foreground that you can't see that are threatening our hero. Just a lot going on. Then we have issue number 35, another Steve Lealoha cover, and again, Beautiful setup. I love how that's here. I love the angle that she's at. Just a beautifully constructed cover. The art is phenomenal. And Spider-Woman's never looked better. Next up, we have another Lee Aloha cover. And this is number 36. All right. And uh, most of the rest of these, I think, are all Steve, Steve Lee Aloha covers. He did a lot, except for one coming up. But beautiful cover. Spider-Woman in peril. She's in some pain. She's been shot. She's being hunted by a few people. And you got to figure out who it is by buying this book and opening up and reading the story. All right, now, next one is a key issue, issue 37. This is the first appearance of Siren. All right, so there we go. There's Siren on the ground, Juggernaut in the background. And you got Nick Fury floating head here, and just a great, great constructed cover. Spider Woman looking a little mean, a little fierce in this one. And again, you got to read to find out. But. We are lucky enough, thanks to a friend of mine named Mikhail Galloway, that I have this book also signed by Chris Claremont. So there we go. You got his signature up in the trade dress. So really uh, super happy and fortunate to have that one. Thank you, Kale. Um, Kale short for Mikhail. So uh, issue number 38. Okay, we have another Le Aloha cover and Spider-Woman facing off against the X-Men. And, you know, a classic crossover. You put the X-Men in any book then, you're guaranteed to bolster some sales. So we got a couple of those, just beautiful copies and a beautiful cover. Next up, issue number 39. And this to me is like, if not the first, one of the first ever negative space variants, which have become so popular in these late years. But this was first done by Steve Lealoha. And there it is right there. What a gorgeous cover. 
And again, I love the negative space use on this one. Way before its time, right, with the negative space. Who knew it would be the popular trend it is today? But Steve Lealoha was doing it, and there it is. And then next up, to round out this episode, from 1981, we have Spider-Woman 40. He had a great action shot. She's just met the Flying Tiger. Again, Steve Lealoha. And action, peril, everything you want to draw you into this book and read it. And then as a bonus, we're going to show you a print that my LCS owner, uh, Chet Renato, had bought for me and gifted me. And this is Steve Lealoha print. Absolutely gorgeous. Signed by Steve right up here in this corner. So absolutely gorgeous print. Like, I'm so happy to have this in my PC. And what a thoughtful gift. Uh, and, you know, Spider-Woman, just one of my favorite characters. Every time she's got a series, I'm subscribed to it. I'm collecting it. I'm getting it. If she's making any special appearances, I'm grabbing those too. But that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the covers on episode four here. we got one more episode of this coming up. And uh, then we'll get into a different series. But let me know what you thought of these covers. Uh, do you agree with me? Is Steve Lealoha one of her best artists that's, that, that has drawn her? I personally, I personally think so. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, thank you for watching and keep it casual.